This video is sponsored by the JVOS Mindset. Click the link in the description to get your copy today. JVOS is a new way of thinking about jujitsu. It's a new way of, be, of being taught jujitsu, a new approach to teaching, which is going to change jujitsu forever. Get your copy today. Welcome to the Master Plan Lecture Series. My name is Javier Vasquez, and today we will be discussing something I am calling a tension shift. So let's get right into what a tension shift is. So let's first discuss tension. Tension is an element of control. Through tension, we receive information. And obviously, a tension shift is a shift in control. Now, what does that mean? That means that a tension shift is a transfer of who is generating and guiding the tension. So basically, who's in control, right? So whenever you're sparring, somebody's generally in control. And most of the time, people are fighting in order to dominate or supersede the control of the opponent. So sometimes that control is, is the changing in that control can be very subtle. Doesn't have to be something drastic. Of course, a tension shift can occur with a positional change. This is a drastic change. Say if you're on the bottom, you sweep the person, you get on top. That is a drastic change, a positional change. There's an obvious tension shift um, during that, that during that transition. But tension shifts can also occur with a configuration shift. Now, what is a configuration shift? Now Think of yourself in side mount. The opponent is underneath your neck, underneath your arm, and you are basically hugging the opponent from the bottom. When your outside arm is hugging the opponent's neck, it's not really generating any tension. You can hold a little bit of tension by holding the head, preventing the opponent from getting up, but it's not really causing that much discomfort for the person on top. A configuration shift, say for example, you transfer your arm from being around their head to in front of their face and now you're framing on the magical spot, that's a configuration shift and during that configuration shift, the whole, the whole momentum of the position shifts and that I would consider to be a tension shift. Now the person on the bottom is the one that's generating the tension and control rather than the person on the top. Now, tension shifts generate a feeling of general discomfort for the person who, who, who is on the defensive side once the shift has occurred. Tension shifts generate a feeling of general instability. So say, for example, you're in side mount, the person digs an underhook, all of a sudden you were stable, what I call fundamental stability, you were stable, and then all of a sudden you feel unstable. Tension shifts can completely shift up an opponent's momentum, the opponent's attacking you, you're able to uh, perform a tension shift through a potential configuration shift, and it completely shuts down what the opponent was doing. Now they got to go back, re reassert the position, reestablish re re dominance in the position in order for them to continue the onslaught. So by making them stop and go back, this is a tension shift. Attention shift can completely shift one's mindset. Again, if the opponent is in, a, in an attacking mode, you can perform a tension shift and now you can put them in a defensive mode. And finally, uh, tension shifts could result in psychological acceptance. Now, what does this mean? Now, what this means is very simple. Say, for example, you dig an underhook from the bottom of the side mount and you're using good tension to, to, to control the opponent with the side mount, slowly prying your way out from the bottom. The opponent could initially, once you establish the underhook, the opponent could initially start to fight to reestablish that underhook. But sometimes the opponent will kind of accept that that underhook is lost and then they'll try to change their positioning or their strategy in order to beat whatever you're doing. Now, psychological acceptance means, hey, I accept that they have the underhook and I have to do something else. Digging the underhook from this angle, from this position, from this situation isn't going to work. They've kind of won the battle. I consider this a psychological acceptance. And although that their fight might not be quote unquote accepted, uh, you know, they haven't given up completely. They have given up on a particular element of what we were fighting for. It could be the underhook, it could be the split, whatever, whatever the case may be. So I know that the things that I am covering, the subjects that I'm covering in this lecture series are quite unique. They're very deep and I want to do it this way. I, I, the information is coming to me, so I'm very comfortable trying to explain it. 
these things are real and I definitely want to hear your feedback. If you like my content, go click like and subscribe down below. If you have a question or a comment about the subjects that I'm covering, go ahead and leave them in the comments. I will read through the comments and answer your questions. And I hope that you enjoy my content. I will see you all again real soon.